My name is Paula Hannix. I was hired here at Midlakes in 1997. I have had the great fortune to teach many students in the community over the years. In 2001, I had the opportunity to change departments and worked in the Learning Center full-time until 2016 when I returned to the math department. Currently, I teach math applications and Gemini pre-calculus. I've worn many hats over the years, including freshman class advisor, varsity cheer coach, and youth to youth advisor. Currently, my extracurricular role is as a senior class advisor. This is the top of the syllabus I shared with your student on our first Zoom meeting. Math Applications is a full year course involving a variety of topics important to young adults as they navigate from high school into the modern world. We will discuss wages, shopping, purchasing vehicles, banking, budgeting, taxes, rent versus mortgages, and travel. As an elective, we have the freedom to further investigate topics of interest, such as student loans or even the stock market. Students will need the internet access, paper, writing utensils, a calculator, and a folder or binder to keep only math materials. As you see on the screen, I may be reached by the school phone number 315-548-6300, extension 3214, or by email at P-H-A-N-N-U-X at midlakes.org. This is what your student sees when logging into Schoology and selecting the Math Applications course. Obviously, I have three different sections. This is just period three. I have period four and period seven. This is just an example. So at the top, there is a specific link for each Zoom meeting. Each section has its own code and can only be accessed by members of that section. The way I have organized the material is to place all current work in a blue folder at the top. Each folder contains materials used for the dated Zoom class or asynchronous activity for the week. All previous work for the unit will be in descending order in black folders. Once a unit is complete, I will unpublish the material and begin the next unit in the same way. Having five different sections of classes, it is imperative the students submit all work in the appropriate section of Schoology, so nothing is lost. Students who struggle with submitting material should ask for help in class or during office hours. Your student will be able to look at the categories on the left-hand side and click on those. One thing that I do tend to send is an update to the whole class, so you can see I can send them little messages so that they know what's going on. Also, they can look at what their grades are after they've submitted their work. In addition, if I've written a comment, they can see the comment as well. Grades will not be calculated in Schoology, only collected there. I will use School Tool to do the grades for the course. The way our department has set it up is that 60% of the grade will come from quizzes and tests, and 40% will come from homework and coursework. I try to create an environment where people learn to love math and find interesting ways to solve problems. If we were physically in the building, your student would be involved in Connect Four tournaments. We would play other games such as Yahtzee, chess, and checkers, or card games like Euchre. They would be taught how to manually keep score in bowling, you know, in case the power goes out, 
and you happen to have a bowling dice game on hand. So while we are remote, I encourage you to play card games and board games with your student. It promotes problem solving skills and who among us doesn't love some friendly competition. I really love teaching and miss the in-person interaction with your student. I look forward to the time when we are all together again in room 214.